Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to draw this two block in isometric projection. Now we'll be starting with this, then later we'll come to this. Now, like I said, when you are given an isometric drawing, the first thing you have to do is to draw the isometric axis, that is the x, y, and z, like this. So you move your two square, you draw the vertical, and you draw the horizontal, just this way. So this is your x, your y, and your z. Now the next thing we'll be doing here will be drawing the length, the width, and the height. So if I should place something here this way, you see this point here that I'm drawing an horizontal line this way, right? This point you're seeing is this point here. So let me just draw the line so you see it. You see that? So that means we're starting our measurement from here. So from this point to the end of this point, which is the same from this point to the end of this point, which is the same from this point to the end of this point is what? 45. So I'll measure my length to be 45. Taking my meter rule, I'll place it at this point here and I'll measure 45. This is 45 here. You can see that now i'll go here also from this same point to this point is giving us 20 plus 20 plus 5 which is 45 or you can say that from here to here is the same as from here to here is the same as from here to here and that is what 45 so i'll measure 45 from this point i'll measure 45 so i can start from zero here then i'll measure 45. now the next thing i'll do is the height from here to here is the same as from here to here is given as what 70. so i'll measure 70. so from this point i'm going to measure 70. So this is 70 from zero straight down to this point it is what 70. now since i've gotten those three points it's for me to make it form a box through which i will be able to carve out my shape now what i did here that i projected that i draw a horizontal line i'll come here also i'll draw a horizontal line just like i am repeating the process and if i come just draw a horizontal line this way and repeat the same process by drawing my inclined line at angle of what 30 degree so when i place my t square or my c square my c square my t square i'll move it to this point i'll draw a line this way i'll turn it the other way around like this i'll move it to this point also i'll draw another line this way all good i'll draw another line this way You can see that now these two points here that i have here i'll project them to meet the top right and i'll move this also to meet the point up here now if you look at this what i use to draw this because i said from here to here is the same as from here to here right which is the same as drawing from here to here all together so i'll just project this to this way you can see that now if i turn it this way also what i use to draw this right is the same that i will use to draw this which is this Right, and you see that we use a word to draw this. You are taking now. I have 
carved out my box. Now the next thing is for me to start thickening the lines to make them very visible. Now let's look at our diagram. Now if you look at this point here to this point here is thickened. So from here to here is from here to here and that is what thickened. So since I already have my line I'll just place my rule there and I'm going to what? Thicken it. You can see that? Now if you look again from this point to this point is from here to here so I'm going to thicken it you can see that also from this point to this point and this point to this point is this point to this point and this point to this point so I'm going to thicken it so when I thicken it I'll be having this this way right so I'm taking here also then also from here to here is also taking just as it is displayed in the top right corner of the screen. You can see that? Now, if you look at this very well, I just take it from here to here, right? Now, if you look from here to here, is from here to here. So I'm going to what? Taking it. Why I am thickening all these lines from the beginning straight down to the ending because there is no obstruction, right? Now let's look at this. Now, from here to here now, there is an obstruction here, so I cannot just draw a straight line. So I will start measuring. Now I discover that from here to here is 5 and from here to here is 20. So I am going to measure 5 and 20. So let's do that. So this point here is where I'll measure 5, so from 0 to this point is 5, and from here to this point is 20, right? So what I will now do is I will take in those points from this point, because it is taken as I is shown in the Top right corner of the screen. I'll take in this point. Then taking here too. You can see that. So this point there. What do you notice from here? Since I've drawn that from here to here, which is 20, and from here to is 5. The height, right? From this place, I will elongate a line upward of length 25. So measure a line 25 up in both sides. So let's do that. Now to measure that line, I'll move my T square, my C square to that point. I'll just draw a line this way, up this way. Then I'll come here also, I'll draw the other one up this way. Then I'm going to measure 25. So I'm measuring the 25 here. I'll be from here, I'll measure 25. So this is 25 here, right? From 0 to 25. So since I've done that, I will now take in that point this way. Right? Now, since I have the help of my T square and C square, I don't have to measure 25 again here. I'll just transfer my point from this point here straight down there right so I'll just do that from here right then I'll just move from here to here you can see that 
should be on your T square. Then I'll stand it on my T square again. Then I'll connect to this to this point here. Right now, what do you notice? There's a top right corner. There's a line going in here. So I'll use my not my T square and my T square. Place them. Use them simultaneously, and I'll move it. Since this line here is here, it will is parallel to this one too. So all the lines at this direction will parallel to each other. So I'll move to that point, and I'm going to draw the line this way. You can see that. Now the next thing you see is this. Now if you look at this, I have extended it a little bit, but I realize that there's a box at the end of the block so what i will do is i'm going to extend it 10 millimeter because if i move this to this way so that it is somehow connected here like this so from this point to this point is 10 which is from this point to this point is 10 so i would like to do that i'll measure 10 outward like this so at this point that i'm talking about i'll measure 10 up outward with the help of my c square so I'll place my set square or my T square this way and I'm going to measure the 10 outward like this. You see that? Draw a line outward, then you measure 10. Measure the 10 from 0 to 1 is 10. Right? So at that point I will Take it up a little bit like this. And the height is giving us 15. Look at the top right corner. The height I mean is this. This height here is 15. Right? So from this point here, which is this point here, I'm going to measure 15. Right? So once I place my meter rule on that point and measure 15 up oh, this is 15 in which I'm going to connect it to the other side so I'll thicken it since it's thickened to the other side right now the next thing is this point here which is this point here to here is given as what 20 so i measure draw a line and i'll measure 20. so i'll draw a line from here and i measure 20 to from this point to this point here is 20 right which i am going to thicken also so I'll take in from here to here. You have to be very careful. And also from here to here. Right? Then I am going to connect it to To the other point, as you see there. To connect it from here, to touch there. You can see that. And uh, from this point here is this point here. So I'll draw a line to this one. That will meet this line. So draw a line here, and also draw another one here. So I'm drawing a line here. First of all, let me start with a faint line. And I'll draw that one here also. So I'll just connect them. Connect them together. So from this point, I'll connect this to this point. And from here, I'll do the same thing to, to this point. And I'm going to connect these two together. Right? And connect everything you can see that it is obvious that I'll bring out the box shape just like it's shown in the top right corner 
then I can now take him from here to here. It is not going into the figure, even though it's going through, you will not see it. I want to show it, I'll show it with just a healing line. So, from here to the connector, straight down. Nice. Now we've done this. Now it's now remaining the top. Now, if you look at the top very well, right? You discover that there's an opening on it, right? And we are told that the distance from the opening from here to here, right, is five. And from here to the other side is what twenty. So I measure from this ending, which is this ending, I measure twenty. So from zero to two is twenty. So this is a twenty here, right? And also from the other end, I'm going to measure what? I measure five. So from here to here is five. Right, so with the help of my T square and C square, I'm going to just draw an horizontal line that is parallel to this. That the, this you can see, I'll draw an horizontal line this way, and I'll come here also draw another line this way. Now, the key word is from this point here to this point also is giving us five on the diagram. Right, if you look closely, discover the word it is five, so I'll measure. My five from here to here is giving us five, All right? So I will now take in that aspect with the help of my chest square. So I'll take in from here to this point, All right? Now, after doing that, this point is this point so I'll measure distance of what 25 so let's measure 25 so from here I'll measure 25 is 25 here and that is how I'm going to take in that point so with the help of my C square I'll just take in from this point straight down to here now I'll use this to close it up, right? Now close it up from here, straight down to here, and I'll close from here, straight down to here, right? So if you notice it from the top right corner, there's a line coming down here. So I'm going to connect that line from here, straight down to this point. Now, when you look closely at the top right corner, you discover that this is what we are having, right? And that is the isometric projection of that diagram. Now, one thing you need to know whenever you are given isometric projection, the dimensioning are very important. The dimension, just like you see in the diagram, right? So, in our next video, we are doing drawing the other diagram which is this this in isometric right so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching